Hi, in this video I'm looking at this problem here where Jack, who's currently age 42, is planning to retire at 68 years of age. At the moment he has $47,000 in his superannuation account and it is earning 5.7% per annum compounded monthly. We want to work out two things. One, if his employer is contributing $400 a month, how much will he have in 15 years time? And if Jack works out that he needs $550,000 by the time he retires so that he can live off of his superannuation, um, how much does he need to make his regular personal contributions to make sure that he achieved his goal upon retirement? So let's sort out the rule that we're going to be using first. Now the rule for this is an annuity and we're trying to find the future value basically because we want to know how long is it going to be 15 years future. And to do that, normally we use A equals M outside of 1 plus I to the N minus 1 all over I, because that's the future value for annuity. But superannuation always has a starting amount, and so we've also got to add on our compound interest formula to account for that starting amount already being there and the interest being earned on this part. And for our question here, P is our principal, it's our starting amount, which is 47,000, because that's how much is in his account. I is our interest, which is 5.7%, but we want that as a decimal, so we'll divide that by 100. We also want it per period. Our periods are monthly. At the moment, this is annually, so we're going to divide by 12. And for the sake of not getting rounding errors, and just to make life easy, we're going to have 5.7 on 1200 as I. So let's go and have a look at Part A. Part A says that we've got regular contributions of $400, which is M. And it also says we're going to want to do this in 15 years time, and that is N is 15. Lots of how many periods? We've got months, 12 months in a year, so we've got 15 lots of 12, which means that we have 180 months worth for our investment. So now if we go to our rule, A equals P, which is 47,000, multiplied by 1 plus I, which is 5.7 on 1200, to the power of N, which is 180, plus our repayment 400 multiplied by the fraction 1 plus i again, 5.7 on 1200 to the power of n, which is 180, minus 1 over i again, 5.7 on 1200. And so if we go and put that into a calculator, we can actually get our answer. So we've got 47,000 multiplied by 1 plus 5.7 over 1200 to the power of 180 plus our 400 outside of fraction 1 plus 5.7 over 1200 to the power of 180 minus 1 on 5.7 over 1200. So that means that if after 15 years, Jack's going to have $223,690.65. So he's got $223,690.65. So now let's have a look at part B. Part B changes things slightly. We now know that our final amount that we want is $550,000. And we are going to want it by the time we retire. And 
Jack is currently 62 and is planning on retiring at 68. So we've got 68 minus 42 means that we have 26 years until Jack plans on retiring. So our N is going to be 26 years worth of our periods, which are 12 months a year. And so Jack is planning on retiring in 312 months time. But we don't know M. M is what we're trying to work out. M is unknown. So let's go back to our rule, put in what we know, and have a look at what we're going to do. So we know that our final amount, A, is 550,000. And we know that that's going to be equal to our principal, multiplied by 1 plus I, 5.7, on 1200 to the power of n 312 plus our unknown m multiplied by 1 plus 5.7 on 1200 to the power of m 312 minus 1 all over i 5.7 on 1200 so we've got this equation here, 550 equals all of this, and we want to work out m. So we need to get m on its own. Now m is being multiplied by this, and then having this added on. So we're going to take this bit, and we're going to subtract it off both sides. So on our left, we're going to have 550,000, and we're going to have minus... 47,000 times by 1 plus 5.7 on 1200 to the power of 312. And on our right, that means we're going to be left with m outside of 1 plus 5.7 on 1200 to the power of 312 minus 1 on 5.7 over 1200. So we need to get this into our calculator, so let's go and do that. So we have 550,000 minus 47,000 times by 1 plus 5.7 over 1,200 to the power of 312. And so that leaves us with a gap of 3, 4, RT3, 842, and 81 cents. So we have 3, 43, 842, and 81 equals all of this. So M outside of 1 plus 5.7 on 1200 to the power of 312 minus 1 on 5.7 over 1200 and so we want to get m on its own m is being multiplied by all of this opposite of multiplies divide so we're going to divide that off this side so we're going to have 3 4 3 8 42 81 divide by that big bracket. So we're going to divide by 1 plus 5.7 on 1200 to the 312 minus 1 on 5.7 on 1200 and that will leave us with m. So let's go and put that into a calculator. So we've already got the answer here so I'm just going to hit divide so we don't lose our answer and not have any rounding errors. And so we got bracket, fraction, bracket, 1 plus 5.7 on 1200 to the power of 312 minus 1 on 5.7 over 1200. and close off our bracket.
equals 48231. So M is $482.81. So this is what the contribution needs to be. His monthly contribution needs to be $482.81. So we need a contribution of $482.81. But his employer is already putting in $400. We knew that from before. So the employer is already contributing $400. So that means that Jack, so therefore Jack needs to add a personal contribution on top of um, his employers of, well, 481, 482, 81 minus 400 equals 82, 81. So he needs to add in himself at least $82.81 each month out of his own money to make sure that in 26 ta years time when he retires at age 68, he has his $550,000 that he believes he needs to comfortably retire on. So there we go. Superannuation account requires compound interest plus the future value of an annuity. And we can work out what the required contribution is to get a desired amount by putting in the numbers we know and then using a little bit of algebra, subtract off the compound interest, divide by the future value, and that gives us our contribution if the employer is already contributing a bit, that means you only need to add on a little bit more to get your final answer.